Today we're in the home of one of our clients whose home we decorated a year ago, and now we're back to decorate it for Christmas for a holiday house tour. When I first saw this house, it was a 20-year-old, typical subdivision house with sort of flat finishes and not a lot of detail. Our goal was to bring soul and personality and the story of the family to this home with lots of color and layers. Our starting point was a beautiful floral wallpaper that gave us tons of colors to use in the rest of the house and the homeowner just loved it. We used the wallpaper in the smallest room in the house, in the powder room, because it packs a lot of punch, but we use it as a roadmap for all the other rooms too. When you walk into this home, to the left there's a beautiful sitting room and it has a feminine feeling for the lady of the house. She wanted this room to be a quiet space where she could read, work on her computer, and just have quiet, so it's all her favorite colors and things. She asked for a pink and blue room, which is sort of unexpected for a designer, and we wanted to make it work with more subtle tones and poppy accents. Since this is one of my favorite houses we've decorated, it's been so fun to do it for Christmas and just add that sparkle and layer of cozy family time feeling. I like to use a mix of faux greenery and real, mostly because for a busy family, a lot of real garland is gonna shatter and get all over your stairs and be a lot of upkeep, especially if you put it up early like I do. I also like to add in little touches of natural greenery so you get that beautiful aroma and touches of nature. A good example is on the staircase, we used artificial garlands that can be used year after year, but we also did a big oversized vase full of natural greenery that has a loosey-goosey natural feel. The first thing we did for the dining room is pick the wallpaper and that really set the tone. Covering up that drywall feel with a layer of pattern really makes a huge difference. This room is a typical mix for me of new and old items, so the table's brand new but it has an old feel, and the buffet was a big, heavy sideboard that we'd lightened up with lots of coats of white paint. When decorating for Christmas, a great idea is to raid your cupboards for all your vintage jugs and pitchers. Things you'd normally put flowers in are perfect at the holidays with evergreens. In the dining room, there's a collection of recycled glass bottles all down the table. They look great in the summer empty, but for holidays, we added in some greenery. To achieve this look, just grab a little bunch of evergreens and some twine and make little bundles and tuck them into each bottle. The family room started with a pre-existing river rock fireplace that gave us a real cottage lakeside feel, and we played that up by adding beadboard wainscoting, again to add another layer. This room gets the most use in the house with this big family, and we wanted to keep it open and have lots of seating. So there's two big comfortable sofas, and also two smaller occasional chairs when there's a really big crowd. Everything is centered around a huge coffee table that has a zinc top. It's really hard wearing and perfect for board games. The coffee table in this space is brand new, but it has a vintage feel because of the metal top and the way we customized and painted the base. This family's Christmas tree is artificial and a great tip for keeping it looking as real as possible is to load it with ornaments. You don't wanna be looking at that artificial green. My approach with this tree was to buy a whole lot of ornaments in a couple of colors from a big box store. This way I saved money and the tree had a very strong color story to start with. In the master bedroom, there are small touches of Christmas decor. Of course, when you have a fireplace, you have to do a garland and we tucked some natural pine cones in as well. We also used some ornaments just in vases and vessels as we did on the main floor. This bathroom we just completed in the last year and has again a feminine touch with lots of classic details to keep it balanced. There are very small touches, a wreath on the door and a couple little trees, that's all you need and it looks festive for the season. My tip for Christmas decorating is to pick a few key moments and have focal points of holiday decor rather than sprinkling everything you own all over your whole house. I would consider myself a holiday person for sure, even though every year I have to do a million trees for different people before my own. At our house, Christmas morning is a big deal, and with three little girls, it's gonna be an exciting one. <laughs>